Well, she's a UK multi-award winning best-selling author and artist whose books are known throughout the world. She is the creator of much-loved characters, including Clarice Bean, Ruby Redford, and, of course, Charlie and Lola, and has been called a rock star in children's literature. Please welcome to the cafe, Lauren Child. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I must say, I know, I will know all about the Charlie and Lola side of you mm -hmm. because my son was obsessed with Charlie and Lola. Uh, when he was about four, we had the umbrella, we had yeah, the yeah. books, we watched the TV show, everything. That's very so, nice. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. I felt like I was bringing yeah. a little bit of culture into his life yeah, between then and the nice. tweenies. Okay, I wanted to find out, because you know, the, the Writers' Festival has been phenomenal for me. Mm. I don't know a lot about the writers, but I learn mm. so much when they come here. What got you started? When did you go, okay, cool, back in 1999, I'm going to write a book and hopefully it takes off. Is that sort of what happened? No. Um, what, what, what really if only happened? it was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? I think back in... 1995 I wrote a book and nobody was interested and right. nobody wanted it so I made lampshades instead wow and yeah that's what I did and then I got a job working as an apprentice was sort of an artist working in Damien Hirst studio and wow. um, oh, I did a lot of other things and then finally somebody said they wanted to publish it so there was a lot of waiting around really and what oh. was it that made that book stand out for the publishers um it was this one. It's this Clarice Bean one. I I don't know. I think it's just when I'd written it, I think everyone felt that it was too too integrated. There was a lot. If you if you look inside it, there's the the right the text and the picture all combine and and become part of hmm. part of each other. And I think that bothered them. They were a bit worried about that. And then I don't know. It's just the the right time comes along and then suddenly Because this is very common now, isn't it? I mean, this is what, this is how yeah. books are, are, are done now. Yeah. So you were an artist before you were the writer? Um, yeah, I guess I was always interested in drawing. Always, always. Mm. And that's, and I, in fact, I wrote that really to become a film or an animation. And, and then someone said, oh, I think you've written a book. So you I did a writing book. And Charlie yeah. Lola, of course, is a TV series. Um, yep. And I always remember uh, I have a, this little sister. Um, she's what is it? She's she's small and, and rather funny. Well, she's small and very funny. Very funny. Yeah. Her name is Lola. Uh, these books. Did you base them on anyone you knew, anyone's childrens you knew? Mm. I mean, where did Charlie and Lola come from? Well, always the characters come from all different places. So it's it's never really one person or one idea. But I think I did have. I did have an older sister, and she was at her best moments as nice as Charlie, but <laughs> only at her best moments. <laughs> Nobody's that oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Sister, yeah. And so she she had that sort of quality. But and and I grew up in the 70s when if you didn't eat what was on your plate, you had to sit there until you'd finished it. <laughs> so my parents, we'd have to stand off about am I Board gonna beans. eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just sit there and sit there and then. When they left the room, my, my sister Rachel would just quickly scrape my plate into the bin and then it was all over, you know, and everyone felt relieved because my parents didn't know how to back down and I wasn't <laughs> going to back down. So that was one of the ideas. And how do you tap into a child's imagination? Because they're pretty crazy in the imagination of a child. So you have to pull back all those memories from your childhood and, you know, your sister or how does that manifest? I mean, a lot of, I mean, some of it is memory and some of it can be other people's memories. But also funny things are happening all the time. You know, you just look out of the window and something peculiar is going on. So um, I suppose it's just putting a child's eye view on that. Right. And you write for children of all ages, really. I mean, there's, these are very young children. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the Ruby Redfort, which are obviously for teenagers. Yeah, and pre, -teens older, and, sort of pre and young teens, yeah. Um, you were writing all these children's books, though, before you had a child yourself. But, of course, now you've got a daughter who you adopted mm -hmm. from Mongolia. She's seven? She's seven. She's Tuesday. So you mm. were there doing some work for UNESCO. Yeah, I was. I was, I was out there. We were working on sort of projects for sort of education of children who are in very difficult uh, situations and we were thinking particularly of the street children in Mongolia and um, we were also working with um, this sort of intangible um, culture of Mongolia as well mm. so and how you preserve that and the Mongolians are really the nomad Mongolians are really interested in preser preserving this intangible heritage and everything and so we would we spent a lot of time chatting to them and I just thought they were lovely they're just the nicest nicest people and they're very funny and they've got quite a sort of 
um, British sense of humour somehow. And so I, I sort of fell in love with them and the country and, and then decided to adopt from there. And it took you five years, but you yes. got Tuesday. Yeah, I got Tuesday. And has she got your love of, of writing and drawing? She's a big drawer, yeah, she really is. And she likes writing. She's not a reader yet, but it's, it's really interesting that she loves writing. So but She's um, old enough to know who Mummy is, and Mummy's quite a big deal. <laughs> Well, in her, in her, <laughs> can you imagine being a seven-year-old and having the Charlie Nola created as your mum? It would be wonderful. Yes, she's, uh, yeah, she's quite funny about that. It could be quite embarrassing. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Well, look, I know you've spent some time at New Zealand schools. Yeah. I know you've done your work for the Writers' Festival as well. Um, hopefully you get to see a bit more of this country while you are yeah, here. And it's such a pleasure to have you. And oh, congratulations on everything. You. Awesome. Thanks yeah, thank you so much, Lauren. And Charlie and Lola, One Thing is available in all good bookstores right now.